Hey guys, Stas here with another video brought to you by Beerco. Today, we're gonna to be looking at cleaning the lines and taps of your keg system. It's important to regularly clean your lines and taps to keep your beer tasting as good as possible. If you don't do this regularly, you can get some nasty stuff making a little tiny home inside your beer lines. Yum. So how often should you clean your beer lines? At a minimum, I would say every time that you change a keg. If your kegs last more than a couple of months, it's probably good practice to do every four to eight weeks or so. Once you have the right equipment, it doesn't take that long and it will ensure that your beer is tasting best all the time. I like to use a garden sprayer available from hardware stores such as Bunnings or the like, carbonation cap, Stellar Clean, PBW or some other cleaning product capable of dealing with some buildup of organic matter, a tap spanner and some rubber gloves. While not completely necessary, these cleaners do tend to strip the oils out of your skin and so it's just a little easier on your hands. People also use a spare keg and push the cleaning fluid through their lines using CO2. I prefer to have a dedicated piece of equipment for two reasons. I can clear the lines without having to have a spare keg available and using a garden sprayer, I'm not using valuable CO2 to push the cleaner through the lines. To clean the lines, start by mixing up enough cleaning solution to clean your system. I'm making up five litres here, which allows me roughly one and a half litres per line with a little bit left over. With your warm cleaning solution mixed up, connect your carbonation cap, hook it up to your liquid disconnect and charge your garden sprayer. Pull through the first amount uh, into a small container. I separate it like this so I can discard this heavily soiled cleaner and use a fresher cleaner for later use. Pull through approximately one to one and a half litres per tap, repeating the process with each tap. Leave some cleaner in your lines, soak for approximately 15 minutes and then rinse with some warm water. While you're cleaning the lines, it's a good idea to take apart your taps and inspect them for buildup inside and or damage, like seals that need replacing. Making sure that your beer line is not connected to a keg or your garden sprayer, which is under pressure, simply just open the tap just to check uh, that there's nothing about to fly out. Loosen the shank collar that holds your tap onto the shank until it, the tap comes free. Inspect the inside of your tap for buildup. If you clean your lines regularly, it should be pretty clean. If you see buildup, using your cleaning solution that you collected earlier, you can soak your tap in it to make cleaning easier. If there's a lot of buildup, you may want to fully disassemble your tap before soaking to allow the cleaning solution to fully penetrate the insides of the tap. Once cleaned and rinsed, reassemble the tap and reattach it to the shank. While rinsing the lines with the warm water, you can check your tap to make sure that you've put it on properly and that there are no leaks. So there you have it. If you clean your lines regularly, you will always ensure that your beer is tasting the best that it possibly can. Having the right tools for the job makes things a lot easier too. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, share this video to others that might enjoy it and make sure you hit the like button so that YouTube knows that it's content that's worth watching. If you're not already, please consider becoming a subscriber so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Until next time, this has been Stas from Stas Brewing with another video brought to you by Beerco. To clean beers, cheers.